Now here's something else to our project. I'm holding the camera so hopefully it doesn't wobble around too much. You see this? This is Romex cabling. It's, it's exposed underneath the sink. That's another no-no. And it's going up to a surface mounted electrical box is screwed to the back of the cabinet. Sometimes, most of the time, that's that's flush with the uh, with the wall. This this way, they decided just to do this, and then they ran the the Romex like that. Well, what I'm going to end up doing is taking the power out of there, and that's why I got to get this conduit in here, and I'm calling it conduit because I'm going to put the Romex inside it, the, my new stuff. Okay, I'm going to take. I was going to get some half inch. Uh, uh, aluminum flex. I was going to use that, but I went to the store and I saw this stuff. And I thought that's kind of slick. This was half the price, and this is like heavy gauge plastic, and there's fittings that go on there. And I'm going to use this for my conduit. Then I'm going to take some Romex like this, and I'm going to shove that through through this. It's plenty big, okay. And then, then that'll be protected as it goes because you're supposed to have that in, in some sort of conduit. Now here, they didn't have that. So when I take this wire, when I work on that, I'm going to put another little piece on that too just to be nice because I've got to redo this plug anyways, this outlet receptacle. That wire going up, that's for the, the wall switch right there for the garbage disposal. We're going to do away with that. Okay, I've already determined this is our main power coming into here. We're going to come up into there and we're going to add another wire and go down. And that's why we got to get that, that conduit in there and fish it under here. And that's going to be our power. And go there and it's going to go through the back of this cabinet. And then from here, I'm going to have to poke a hole through the sheetrock. The other side of this this stud, there's a wall stud about there. I've got just enough room. I lucked out on that, didn't I? I think I could poke a hole right there. And then from there, I can just have the raw Romex go into the wall, into a cut-in box that we're going to have to cut in and install in here. Let's see if that, if that stud, let's see here, if that stud was not... Where, where's my hand at? Oh, it's up higher. <laughs> if the stud wasn't there, what if the stud was back behind this and I couldn't get to it? Then I'd have to cut a hole through here with an extension bit or something and drill through the stud, fish it through, and go into the wall over here to drill through the stud if the stud was located about there, let's say. I kind of lucked out with that because there's a stud here. And usually it's 16 inch bays and the next the next stud is about over here. And I know that because I knocked I knocked on the wall. I know a stud is right there. And when it you hear the lower noise, that's hollow. That's a hollow cavity. Now listen. See then it goes hollow again, see? Hollow. There's a stud right there, hollow, and then the stud is over a little bit. And you can measure 16 inches, so I just lucked out on that, okay? All right, let's get to it. Got to figure out exactly where to drill that hole and get her done.